Hey, what's cracking TikToks? Yo, I want to talk about something, but I want want y'all to see this beautiful snow behind me. That's my wife's car. You know, I bought that car for her. And this is my car, the Kia Carnival, because, you know, I got six kids here, you know? <laughs> right? But there is a such thing as toxic masculinity. Yo, when I was younger, I didn't want to believe it. I thought that was just some weird feminist anti-male talking point. But I almost lost my wife. This wonderful, beautiful, amazing black woman that I married. I almost lost her because of that, right? And it took me a long time to realize that I don't own this woman. Just because this woman agreed to marry me doesn't mean I own this woman. You know? And that... And, you know, that may seem like a simple thing now, but back then that was hard for me to really grasp, you know, like this woman is not my slave. This woman doesn't have to make me a sandwich. This woman doesn't have to do all, all, all this other stuff. I didn't realize that if I want that type of treatment from a woman, that I have to be the type of man that she needs, you know, that she feels is worthy of that treatment. You know what I mean? So... If you want a woman to do the things that you would like her to do, be the man that, that she needs, you know, be a provider and be, be a protector, make her feel safe, make her feel secure, make her feel desired, make her feel wanted and allow her to be vulnerable. Y'all complain that, you know, black women are too hard, that black women are too masculine, but you are not allowing them to be soft. You know, if they have to go out and face the world just, just like you do then you aren't allowing them to be soft. Give them time. You gotta earn that. And I had to earn that. It's not just given. And I thought it was just given. And that was my mistake. And it, it, it took me a minute to really understand that. You know, my wife and I were sitting, you know, we were at the masjid talking to the imam about divorce and how we would look. And inside I was hurt and I'm like, why did I do this woman? You know, why stay married to me anymore? But then I had to realize I have to change. I'm the head of my household. So if something's wrong, the buck stops with me. You know what I mean? We as men, we're leaders of our homes, you know? And we have to realize if the home breaks down, it's because we allow it to break down, you know? And now my wife and I going on 11 years, six kids, we happy as shit. It took us a while to get to where we're at. You better figure something out. It's not going to come automatically. So be patient with each other and love each other. You know, it, it, it will come if you work at it.